What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMI's World and right here we're going to be doing the TSG versus TSG and we both have that Tom Brady who's a 99 overall and I do believe that this is the last game that my Tom Brady is going to actually play. He sucks and I don't know what really happened with him bro but this dude just started throwing wild ridiculous interceptions for no apparent reason so we went with the award winners, um, what is that, Matthew Stafford, 99 throw power, 97 throw deep accuracy. He still throws, uh, you know, a lot of picks and does whatever he wants, but he's a much better thrower than this Tom Brady now. So either way right here, man, you know how we do. We're going to come out and throw a pick real quick. And by the way, if you guys haven't subbed to the new channel for podcasts, definitely do that. The link is in the description. What, what is this? What, what's going on? Okay, yo, go ahead, go ahead. Run it for six, run it for six, bro. Then dig up my dead grandma and do it in the mouth too. Um, the big question that's been going, what was that? I thought, they, I thought they patched that with the rack drops. Um, that was a crazy lurk right there. You got to go ahead and like the video for that lurk. I, I, yo, I had nightmares of that lurk, bro. That somebody lurked me like that. That was a real crazy lurk. Right here, we're just going to go ahead and get swatted. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, a lot of people have been asking like, yo, coming into my streams, Jemiah, what you going to do in Madden 18, you know, when there's no swerve, bro? <laughs> like corny ass jokes like that, bro. What's your mom's going to do when I stop coming over? She's going to find another dude, right? Just, just common sense, bro. Common sense. I'm going to find something else that I do. You guys act, look, check out my homepage, bro. I've been playing Madden for a very, very long time, bro. For a very, very long time. Bro, pick that, bro. The scheme never changes. I'm going deep. I'm going deep. I'm doing whatever. That catch right there gonna make me have a heart attack. But listen, regardless of what you guys think, it doesn't really matter. Madden is Madden. You, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you play Street Fighter. Any of you dudes ever played Street Fighter? You know what I'm saying? L let me know in the comments. When, when Street Fighter first came out, right, as an arcade game, when I was really, really big into the arcades, what the hell just happened there? Why did he, how did he just pick that? I don't know what just happened right there. It looked like he just picked it wildly and I don't know what was going on. But when Street Fighter came out, it didn't matter what Street Fighter came out after that. It was always the same game. It was always Street Fighter. Same thing. What the fuck? What? What? Yeah, go, just keep going. Go for six. Same thing with anything else, bro. Like, you know, the Mario Brothers. Like, you always knew that that mushroom was going to get you big, right? No matter how they changed the mushroom shape, it was still going to get you big. And that's what you guys have to understand. Madden is Madden. I don't care if it goes on frostbite, anal bite, all kinds of bites with the bite. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. The mechanics of the game may change, but Madden is going to remain the same. So just think about it like this. You guys remember, like, um, I, I can't really try to give you, like, the, the examples. Like, w whenever, whenever something with Madden changes, like when they introduced the ball hawk, right? Ball hawk was the same thing as trying to pick the ball, only it was enhanced by 55,000. So regardless of how you used to try to pick the ball, the only thing that changed is you didn't have to strafe anymore. You just had to hold the intercept. Pick the, yo, pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. Do me in the mouth too. Um, you didn't have to hold the strafe button. They made it easier so you could hold the button, but trying to be around it, like it was all still the same thing. You had to be in the same position, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's always the same mechanics. You know, Madden 15, the face catch, moving out the way and coming back in. That's the same thing as the swerve. Only thing that was different is you defended it and slide around like a douchebag. You were able to strafe and be in position to try to make a play in the ball. And even when you did do that, you still got face caught on, but it didn't matter. You see, see, people act like it's something new. And that's what's very, very frustrating because if you go to any of my Madden 12 videos, you'll see I was swerving in Madden 12. Like, it just like I said, bro, when you, if you're going to ask me, yo, bro, bro, what are you going to do in Madden 18? Just think about it. What is your mom's going to do, bro, when I stop coming over? She's definitely going to find a new dude, bro. That's how it goes, bro. The vagina ain't going to stay closed. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, she's going to need something up in there. You know, something up in there. So she's going to find somebody else to do it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find another way to do what I got. What? Yo, I'm going to forget this David Johnson, bro. This dude is just punching dudes right in the freaking larynx. Bro, voice box. Look, I don't know what is happening. Yo, are we gonna we gonna dot him right here? What are we doing? Right? Oh yeah, that's Jimmy Graham. All right, that's that's a touchdown. That's a touch. What? So why did I? Okay. Yo, Jimmy Graham, how tall are you, bro? Six seven. All right, good. Keep being a bum, though. Um, so like I was saying, man, whether Madden Madden 18 is gonna have something else in it that's gonna make you wanna rip your mustache off if you have a mustache. If you don't, it's gonna make you rip the top of your lip off because that's just what EA Sports does, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it. We, we can't. I can't. I don't, I don't remember when the last time I really, really enjoyed a Madden game. Uh, let me see. Probably 25. Probably Madden 25. And all they really had to do for 25 was tone down pancake blocks and just continue to go along those same lines. Because for the most part, the game was fine. It wasn't anything that was really, really wild as far as blitzing goes. Like, you had, you had good defenses that got heat, but it wasn't nothing really crazy. I don't know what was changed as far as the mechanics, but the game just became wild. But we all know what happened with Madden 16. You know what I'm saying? 
this dude, Odell Beckham Jr., that his stardom was born. His stardom was born. He made a catch on a bum cornerback. Bro, a bum. How, how did he just tip that? Well, everybody was right next to me. I just threw it anyway. But we knew that we knew we were doomed for Madden 16, bro. Once you saw the catch on the front of the cover, you was like, all right, yeah. You already know what's going on. And then when you saw the previews and you saw dudes, yo, dudes just getting mossed out of the freaking stadium, you're like, all right, you should have been smart enough at that point to know what was going to happen. Um, yeah, go ahead, drop the pick. Yo, he should have caught that because there's a lot of drop picks going on. So, yo, okay, catch that one. Run it for six. Run it oh, we got him. All right, he didn't get the first down. Um, but like I said, I just really hope that, what would, did I just catch the ball through his helmet? I think my arm just went right through his neck. Um, that, that was a pretty good animation though. Thanks, bro. Um, I think that Madden 18 has potential to be a really good game because I do believe that the developers have seen directly, like right on the main stage. That's something that's good about the competitive scene though. Oh, pick there, run up for six, run up for six, run up for six, run up for, hurdle him, hurdle him, stick him in the dick. All right, look, so the big thing about the competitive scene, did I just throw another pit before I get my thought, thought through? Um, the biggest thing about the competitive scene of Madden is that a lot of people get to see what's wrong with the game. So as much as it's like people are like, oh bro, I don't like the competitive Madden, bro, bro, oh, my dick is small. Those guys, um, it does a, it has a lot of benefits because when you're able to say, look, that there it is right there because most of the developers are gonna be in those streams. Most of the developers watch, um, you know, either they're live or they're watching on Twitch, YouTube or wherever it's being live streamed so they can actually see it. And when you see something, it's different than hearing about it or just having somebody complain and whine and whatever. You get to see it. Oh, he caught that. And I just dove because I didn't. Be I, I couldn't believe that I actually caught it because you don't usually catch picks in this game. Um, yeah, good play. So it, it benefits everybody to... What the... Is that... Yeah, this was Reggie Bush's last game too. I just didn't like him. I, yeah, I know he's got a stumble recovery, but I just didn't like him. Get Oh, oh okay. Getting that first down was really key right there. So there's been a lot of... I, that's why I think... Okay, yo, how did this guy just jump into my chest and catch the ball? There's been a lot of different um, aspects about how the game is going to be changed because, like I said, the developers can actually, you know, see it, you know, talk to people, uh, figure out exactly what's happening during these actual live events where people are raging. Some people rage and they can't control it. A lot of the competitors couldn't control it, but later on was able to do a little bit better with it. But it was a very very frustrating year with a lot of the things that were going on within the game and it was just good to be able to see that our feedback was being listened to like directly and we're getting mossed as uh, i say that um you know it's, it's just good to know that somebody is aware you know what i'm saying you, you could talk to the people and figure out yo pick that real quick you could figure out exactly what's going on and know that yo maybe we should do something about this so you know looking forward to frostbite and madden 18 i i gotta say that i don't really see how they can really f up that much more because they've seen so much with this one they've seen it for the last two years because madden 17 is just a patched up madden 16. so they've been able to see exactly what's been going on i don't know what's gonna happen with nano detect bro nano detect why do my guy just run to the right number what the fuck? what was that yo that's a not top 10 play right there bro like i don't know what the hell dion ran like a lightning bolt into a lineman and then ran up the lineman and sacked him. That was crazy. Yo, go ahead. Just just, fade, just fade. Yo, bro, just fade him. Fade him like it's Madden 12. So that's pretty much what it is, man. Swerving was, is said to not... It's not going to be in Madden 18. We have to wait to see what will be the next thing that will replace Swerve. Thank you for watching. Definitely subscribe to the new channel. Link in description. Appreciate all the subs. Appreciate the likes and the comments. One love.